Uh, I'm going to tell you one little story about independence, and then we're going to close it out here. Um, <clears throat> when I went to Berkeley years ago, I came down to Boston from upstate New York, 18-year-old kid who wanted to be in a metal band. So I went to the jazz school, logically. <laughs> I wanted to go there ever since I was a kid. So, and I'm so glad that I did because it got me, it got me to open my eyes and ears to different styles of music. And I went in there going dugga 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 dugga, and I came out going ting ting a ting ting a ting, which is a good thing. It's a it's a great thing. It expands you know expands my horizons. So it's it expanded my horizons. Now once again, I'm going to repeat. I'm not a jazz player. I can fake it, and I can I know the fundamentals, but I'm not. You know, I'm not a guy that can do that to, with that technical proficiency because I've spent so much time working on this craft. But I'm going to tell you a story about how I developed my independence and how instrumental it was, no pun intended, for me to go there and learn this kind of stuff. So I went to the school and sat down with my first set of lessons with my private teacher and... Uh, see it over there so we're gonna we're just gonna use this for prosperity's sake so he put this book in front of me and I went, what's this this is progressive syncopation for the modern drummer okay cool is there Metallica transcriptions in this no. oh, all right oh, damn. all right so so he opened up we didn't even start at the beginning which was that you know in hindsight that wasn't really fair. <laughs> start me in the beginning, but don't start me in the middle. So let's see, where, where, where was it? I? I know it like the back of my hand. Anyways. Oh, we'll be here all night me looking for the page. Anyways, he started me in the middle of the book, okay? This is a great book. I highly recommend it. I still haven't finished the whole thing 20 years later. I will admit that, but someday I will but I'm not on the road for nine months out of the year playing dugga, 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 dugga. So I sat down for my first private lesson. What are we going to do? We're going to work on jazz independence. Okay, great. That's the ting, ting, a ting stuff, right? Got it. And I'm not being glib about this stuff. I'm not making fun about jazz or anything like that. I love jazz. I love jazz. I love fusion. It's all the stuff I listen to when I'm, when I'm home. I don't really don't listen to metal. So... Not because I don't like it, but I play it all the time. So it's, it's kind of ingrained in my, in, my, in my head already. So I sit down. All right, what are we doing? We're doing a jazz ride pattern. All right, got it. And after I'm done, I'm going to bring my dear friend Ram up here, and he's going to play it way better than I can because he's a real jazz drummer. <laughs> so anyways, got this down. So he goes, all right, now we're going to play four on the floor with the bass drum. All right, got it. No. What do you mean, no? Heel down. Ooh. Uh, okay. So, hence the first week of practice. Far stretch from. So, so I worked on that for like a week or two. All right, next lesson. What now? All right, hi-hat. All right, cool. Look at my left foot. Heels up. So he went, no, rock the hi-hat. Oh, all right. No, not like that. Oh, oh what do you mean? Rock the hi-hat, heel toe. Huh? I sat in the practice room for two weeks doing this. <laughs> ah! I'm playing Metallica, screw this. But I stuck with it and I finally got it down. All right. So now here we are. What's next, Teach? Put the snare line in. Okay. Alright, got it. Watch my hands. <laughs> Anybody tell me?
tell me what I did? Anybody? Thank you. My right hand went retarded. It forgot what it was doing here because this hand had to go like this now. So hence another couple weeks of swearing in the practice room and throwing my sticks down and just playing Slayer. But I got it. Got it. I'm good, right? Okay, now sing It's a Hard Day's Night over the top. What? Did you smoke something on your lunch break, dude? I'm like, okay. Why did I do that? Gil, because I just showed you five-way independence. Ooh. Then the light bulb went off. There was a reason why he put me through five weeks of torment to do this. And it was to expand my playing and to expand my dexterity and expand what I could do physically on the drums. Do I do this in Shadows Fall? No. But my, my point is that you're never going to know where you're going to draw influence from. And your teachers tell you to do things for a reason. Not just because we want to see you not be able to play what we put in front of you. I will admit I do enjoy that sometimes, though. <laughs> Especially with my students that are really, really good. And I'm like, what am I going to teach this kid this week? And then I find something that they can't do. And I'm like, Phew. all right, I'm safe for this, for this week. i got to think of something for, for next week now for them. So they do this for a reason. So listen to your teachers and and have fun while you play drums. And really, it, this, that's what it's really all about. It's about having fun, grooving, and just enjoying yourself at the kit. Because after a long day of work or whatever, you had a bad day, you come home and pound on these things for an hour, everything's all better. <laughs> Any questions before we wrap it up?